broke. My light broke out. Alrighty, we are on our way to Timmer Speedway, my favourite track in the world. Is all, oh, not world, but like favourite track in Australia, we'll call it, in this part of the world. We uh, got to see Lake last night, so it's like, I don't know, four and a half hours from where I live, so we've got another two to go now. We're heading to Paul's to finish fitting the seat up. Uh, got a fresh triple X to run tonight, so that'll be pretty cool. Yeah. I guess someone just lifts a bit of load off it and they should be able to crank it in, but just gotta be careful with the tire. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah or if you want to jack it up, just get it jacked, it's probably easier. Just jack it up here, you reckon? You can jack it up under the rack, you can jack it up wherever you like. Alright, back in the van 9 and I, bit of a, not a last minute thing, but we sort of weren't too sure if I wanted to get back in it again. Big going on with America and all that, as I said, but uh, yeah, no, our car's good. I'm pretty happy with it. We've gone over it this morning, fired it off in the street. Don't really want to put that online in Australia because it's pretty uh, frowned upon. But, uh, anyway, they're just getting a couple little weight things in the car, a bit of right rear weight in the car for me to like. I like the thing propped up. Uh, thanks to go a bit aggressive elsewhere, it's my bit of my insurance. So, uh, yeah, fresh triple X, should be good. Um, really like Timmis. We can go up and have a look at the track how the drive's been also. Welcome to what I call Timmersburg. Um, awesome wide progressive bank racetrack. Uh, they've been on the rotary tiller all day, which is freaking sick. Um, that's good. Every track should get a tiller. Um, I didn't really focus too much on the improvements here. They've got um, brand new lights up there, LEDs, and awesome new catch fence. So, oh boy, I'm out of breath. I had a big lunch, let's just say that, just to get the carbs up. Have the car pretty. Looks dry in spots. Uh, I don't know whether that's just a, um, just a vision thing for me, but uh, I love this track no matter what. Uh, we got street socks here, so I think they're going to try to keep it fairly tight tonight uh, in terms of the track track tight. Uh, as you can see, they're getting there with the full drives, not the cars. So anyway, we got driver's main. Let's head off over there and then dial up. Uh, get the VA9 out there and motor heat.
where we shit or? Yeah, where is that? Where did that come from? It's not hard. Oh, no, 12, 9 and Rusty did a 12, 2. So about 7, 10. I didn't feel like that. Alright, so that heat was good. It actually livened up. We uh car was just really, really flat in qualifying. I just I have a feeling of gear it sucks me in the seat. My lows are like six, eight, six, nine. So that's your lows should be around the low sixes uh, with this motor he tells me. Um, but yeah, anyway, we um we went good, just went forward, picked on a few mistakes, and then we just sort of rode around a bit and we're just losing that little percentage each time. So the lows then are at six five, six four, so we might just drop one more gear set. Um, I'm really happy with the car. I'm a bit right hand, left hand down a little bit, so I um, feel like the right front's scrubbing a bit and I can't actually hook the thing around. Um, I'm a bit lost, I don't know what to do. So These new wabs feel weird, uh, the new right rear fusion tires, so I haven't got a lot of experience on them. And they just feel like a, a balloon. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, where are we starting the next one? Oh, we got a front row this time.
Mate, it's a bittersweet, bittersweet feeling finishing up atop the podium on that final uh, All-Stars heat race. That's actually a massive honour. I didn't actually realise that didn't put two and two together. So that's a massive honour in an All-Star winning team, uh, championship winning team. So, yeah, we were just sort of halfway to Bendigo with the gear set and <laughs> qualifying. And uh, the boys did a real good job. Uh, get us back then. That car was unreal then. And this track is just unbelievable as always. I love it when it's like that. Uh, that curve just needs to be a little higher on the racetrack, but it'd be bloody perfect. It's been a big season uh, so far, of course, during our off-season you went back over to America again for the second year in a row, ran a lot of wingless sprint racing. It's just all about seat time and getting uh, the fitness up. Yeah, seat time's elite time. I haven't gone that fast in a while. I'm pretty wore out. Um, yeah, no, I've got another 30 or 40 races, literally first week of May, so I ain't stopping again. I haven't stopped since October 22, just going to keep jumping in race cars. And you've also got your Australian Championship to defend on the uh, wingless sprint as well. Yeah, um, yeah, that's up at Lismore Anzac weekend. Uh, we have a great package in that car too. I'm very grateful to drive for guys like Larry Fitzpatrick, Paul McClure, all them type of guys. Uh, uh, Danny Mason as well, my dad. Uh, I can't think of how many I've run this year, but uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm out of puff, so. Yeah, just like to thank uh, Paul and Faye uh, putting me under a great race car and uh, Brock and Liam for just wrenching on it. And, yeah, I haven't been too grumpy or not, so that's good. <laughs> good job, mate. Well done. Thank you. Come on, folks. There he is. Thank you. That was good. That oh, was really good, then. Left hand down off exit now, and the complete opposite of what I was at the start of the night. <laughs> Uh, it got to 240 as well, so it, I think I think it did heat soaking. I think it got to 240 heat soaking on the way in. It'd be like 250 now. Really? I thought I was running a bit rich, but oh, I didn't lift. I only breathed the gas into three to get through that slick patch. Yeah. Uh, one and two, it was full noise. It was literally matted. <laughs> it was literally matted. Yeah. yeah, I didn't need a lift. I didn't need to. It was a bit slick on entry to three, as you see. I overcorrected a few times. Yeah, about spun the thing out. Yeah, you didn't want to do that. But yeah. I wanted to keep the wheel speed up and the momentum. Yeah, Hickman was trying to come to you, but then he got, when you passed those two, well, that was bold. That was way bolder than it should have been. Right, so starting 12 in the feature. That's good. Not bad for the last All Star race. I made the last feature. Um, yeah, just a bit of a struggle start, but we got that in our notebook for Sunday. We actually dropped the wing because it was stalling us. There's a two inch wicker on it, I didn't know. I don't, I, I'm not that big in the wing stuff, so I don't, I don't know. Like I don't look, I'm like, oh shit, there's a two inch wicker on it. Uh, anyway, we're just dropping some stagger on it. Uh, we were still left rear, left rear tight. Like hit off, I was crazy. Left hand down, locking my elbow, but we we're really fast. I just drove the absolute wheels off the car, loved it. Um, yeah. Just gonna roll around, finish the feature, start 12. Just, you know, if we get top five, it's a good night.
All right, walking out to Timis. Um, yeah, left, left my head scratching a little bit. Uh, I think a lot of it was me, a lot of it was just that really upset my rhythm at the start. I uh, full fuel load, right front of it in, bike the car up. Uh, very silly mistake. Uh, way too short. I'm sick of street stocks revving. If you're a street stock owner, I love street stocks because my mate's Tyler Barton, but please stop revving the absolute shit out of cars in the pits. <laughs> yeah, just slow start. Um, fell back 14th or something like that. Uh, got a couple back, but um, yeah, look, we had to think of the positives here. Car straight. Uh, Paul and Faye are happy. Uh, learned some stuff. Brand new car, so can't be too upset. I don't make sure I'm not tripping. It's really, really bright. I can't see any. But yeah, uh, wash up tomorrow. And yeah, get after it again. Um, be careful don't trip. Get after it again because I'm bloody looking forward to a bit of redemption on Sunday, hopefully. We're back in the window, at least we can start a night on the right foot.